just picked up this Honda Civic stick shift. As you guys can see, pretty good. Got the leather in here, the leather is mint. I'm gonna show you exactly what's wrong with the car. Mechanically, it's really good. Uh, there was only one owner. There's 169,000 miles on this car. No lights on the dash, thankfully. Just getting the Civic home, as you can see, pretty much we got a rust spot over here. And the roof is pretty much faded and the trunk is faded. There used to be a spoiler over here, so we pretty much gotta bondo that. Paint the top part over here as well. Gotta sand that down. Probably paint the whole fender. Other than that, I mean, the car looks great. Check out the inside. So there's a manual. Uh, look at the leather, guys. Um, this thing right here is messed up, but I already ordered that off of eBay, which was uh, 20 bucks. Uh, I just gotta rewrap it. No rips inside the, the seats. Let's check out the back seat. We got no rips back here as well. Very well maintained one owner car. And got a sunroof as well. It's gonna be a really good car. Under the hood is clean, drives really good. I took it up to like 90 on the highway. No shakes, no rattling. Really good car. Uh, this one's pretty much ready to sell. Just gotta fix up the top and like I said, just do some adjustments. So we wanna go ahead and get this Honda out here as fast as we can. We're gonna go ahead and hit the spots that need paint with a 600 grit, starting with the roof. Then we're gonna touch this little part of the fender right here. And we're also gonna hit the side molding that's a little rusted. We're gonna go ahead and hit that with a 220, bondo that, and just pretty much get this thing ready for paint. And then we're gonna paint it. So while we're painting the car, guys, let's go over the numbers, how much we paid for this thing, what we put into it, and you know, basically all of the costs. So we bought this car from a personal seller. We found it on Facebook Marketplace and we got it for $3,500. I went ahead and put $20 worth of gas. I also bought the center console wrap for $20. I went ahead and bought some paint for $45. Got the car inspected for $21 also bought the adhesive to apply the wrap for $13 and pretty much that brings us to $3,659 all in we went ahead and sold the car for $4,900 that brings us to a profit of $1,241 in just three days with a little bit of work but don't go nowhere yet guys I got some great advice towards the end there's gonna be a lot of jewels in this video just listen stay tuned Okay gang, base coat laid down pretty good. About to do the clear coat right now. Get this thing all shined up. This thing will be ready to go to the lot. Let's go. Clear 
coat is done. So what I have here is basically a blender. Uh, this is gonna basically blend the new clear with the old clear. So I'm gonna put it in a spot where I basically blended it at. I'm gonna put this here to kind of melt the clears together. inspect it right now so we just go get that done i think it's sad that i haven't drove stick shift until now but i pretty much got it like i said I, I know how to rock with motorcycles so it's pretty much the same thing i've stalled out a couple times like in first gear trying to leave from the light that's probably the only time that i kind of stall out and the reason why i stall out is because i'm trying to go lightly on the gas and i go too light on the gas and i end up stalling out so that's one of the reasons why i end up stalling out using the stick shift but other than that it's not that bad Okay guys, we pass inspection, very, very big, because in New York State, you have to pass inspection to sell the car as a dealer. I mean, if you're somebody else and you're just flipping titles and everything like that, you don't have to worry about inspection, but I'm in New York, so you have to have inspection as a dealer to, to you, can't sell, you can't sell somebody a junk car. So this is big, day three. Uh, day one, we got the car, we pretty much painted it. Now we just gotta get the interior done, hopefully by today. I'm waiting for this piece to come in. As you guys can see, this is all shredded up. Uh, this piece should be here, hopefully today. And then we can uh, basically detail the car. And then uh, once we detail the car, I can list it up, you know, wash it, clean it, list it up, and we can make this a quick flip. I wanna say, but then if that piece comes in today, I'll go ahead and list the car. And I'm, I'm pretty sure that this car is just gonna go because it's a Honda Civic. Like, people, they want Hondas, you know? And then you got the younger guys that love the stick shift and all that stuff like that. So this is gonna be a quick flip. I'm excited about it. Uh, the paint is nice. The interior is perfect besides this. And we're just gonna get this thing out of here. Okay, so we just received the leather for the center console. We're gonna go ahead and remove this. And then we're gonna go ahead and rewrap it with the new leather. Okay guys, it's all done, but it's a little bit lighter than everything else, I guess because it's newer, but it works. It's better than being ripped, right? Okay guys, so I did a quick wipe down on the car really quick just to take pictures. I didn't get to detail it yet. I just want to take pictures and put it on Facebook and start to get it going. And we got a bunch of messages from a bunch of people that started messaging, obviously because it's a Honda, everybody was going crazy. And this one guy was like, he wants to see it today. And it's already like eight o'clock at night. It's about to get dark and he wants to see it. I'm trying to wipe it down as fast as I can. We're going to get this thing out of here. Let's go. Definitely a clean car though. Mm -hmm. I guess the funny part is I never drove stick until I drove this car, but I ride motorcycles, so I didn't really. Yeah, I, <laughs> I kind of like adjusted really cool. Really good. Yeah, you get. You can go this way. It's a long strip, but you can, you can pick up some speed. This way, right? right there. It's a long uh, strip. You can pick up some speed. Yeah,
Okay guys, here at the office, the Honda Civic is gone. The 2008 Honda Civic stick shift is gone. Uh, so what happened was last night, as you guys remember, I had a guy that was coming to see the car. He wanted to buy it. It was nighttime. Remember what I was telling you guys? I had just listed it and pretty much he came. He left me $2,000 for the sale and he was going to come the next day with the rest of the money uh, with the other $2,900 and then I gave him a receipt. He gave me the two grand. I went ahead, deposited two. There was nighttime. I went and deposited two thousand dollars in the bank, and uh, I was excited. I mean, not so excited, but I was excited that it was like another one in the books. And pretty much, you know, I gave him his receipt. Receipt. I went to sleep that night. Felt good. You know, another one in the books. I'm gonna go ahead and start working on other cars. You know, it's, you get that nice high when you sell a car. And pretty much, he he canceled he said that the insurance would be too high he said the insurance was going to come out to so much money so he called me up that morning when he was supposed to deliver me deliver me the money i'm getting a phone call in the morning like 8 30 like hey what's going on I'm ready to get the money and uh he pretty much canceled so i pretty much had to give him his money back i had to go to the bank again in the morning give him his money back it was extremely frustrating because I get, like I said, kind of when you when you get into these projects, you're so excited just to get rid of them and, and get them out the way. And pretty much I had to go ahead and relist the car. I was telling a lot of people that was asking me the car is sold, the car is sold. I took down a listing and I went ahead and reposted the listing. And the first guy that you just saw test drive the car pretty much took the car. I get sold it to him uh, for $4,900. He took the car and I gave the other guy back his money that same day. So that same day we sold the car. I just want to tell you guys out there, it can be frustrating selling cars. Um, there are going to be things you're going to deal with. This is kind of a, it's a cool business. It's kind of passive, but at the same time, um, you still deal with things, you know, you still deal with some stuff and you can't get discouraged because it's just part of it. And this is the type of stuff that comes with it. You know, people that probably be flaky, they want it, but they don't. And then you have people you show the car to and then they, they don't want it. And it's just a lot of stuff to deal with, which is nothing wrong with that. That's just part of the game. I just want to let you guys know that, you know, I flip cars for fun, so I'm not so much emotionally detached, but when you get a sell, you kind of get emotional. You're kind of like, wow, you know, I just made a sell. It's kind of like a euphoric feeling. You know, it's like you, you get something out of it. You get a pleasure out of making a sell and getting your money back that you put into it <laughs> and then getting your profit. So you get you get something out of that. And um, and it's just cool. You know, it's just it's a fun thing to do. I've always been an entrepreneur and it just makes me feel good when I do this type of stuff. You know, it's just a it's, it's, it's not really the, the money, it's the journey for me. Pretty much you can't be emotional in business. Anyway, the Civic is gone, guys. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. I will talk to you guys soon. Jay here from Flipping Cars for Fun.